Hello, wanted to show you a really neat lens that I've actually been having fun with. Uh, this is the Petzval 58 millimeter. It's also available in 85 millimeter. Um, it lets you adjust the field curvature of the lens. So not only do I have a knob for focusing, but I also have a ring up here where normal focus or zoom would be that lets you adjust the bokeh. Um, not just swirly bokeh. Can you say swirly bokeh? These are, I'll give you the link below. You can actually see the fascinating Cerulli Boca on this one. And uh, some other test shots here from various people on the Flickr page. I took one portrait shot and I've been taking shots of various little things. I've been having fun. It'll take you about an hour to get used to using it. It didn't take me that long. Um, I dropped right into it in about uh, 10 minutes. You have drop in waterhouse apertures here. It actually comes with eight waterhouse apertures. Um, for right now, for a very brief window in time, look at I have no connection to Camera Quest. They're not giving me any free stuff, no kickbacks, nothing like that. You can actually type in Petzval in the checkout if you're to purchase the 58mm or the 85mm for, I think it's like a, a one or one and a half week, maybe less than that window of time until he actually runs out on these. This is an extremely heavy lens. Um, I'll be the first to admit, since I'm not being paid by anybody or given any free junk, that uh, it is the case in the past that some of the machining and quality of construction, not the actual lens elements, which have actually been incredibly nice, the actual body of the lenses, I mean, compared to what plastic crap from Southeast Asia, hasn't been, you know, exquisite. Look, and I used to be a Russian translator. I lived in Russia. I know all about Russian quality. But this is actually New World CNC machining. And it comes with, <laughs> even the lens cap, <laughs> even the damn lens cap, which is awesome, is solid brass. And my God, it is heavy. Listen to this. <coughs> yeah, it's very heavy. Uh, Screw-in lens hood is not brass plated. It is actually CNC machined solid brass. I got no need to take that off of there. I was sitting here unscrewing the lens hood for some unnecessary reason. We have the, the focusing knob right here, but right here we have the ring for bokeh control. You're actually able to change the field curvature of the shot that you're taking, so you would actually adjust your lens. And well, to people that are not familiar with this uh, sort of uh, lens, I mean, some people have issues with manual focus lenses in general, but, uh, you know, Drop in your aperture, adjust your lens, correct for the type of bokeh that you want or don't want. You know, obviously you would be getting this uh, lens for a reason, and that is so that you're actually able to adjust and to have fun with the bokeh control, which is really fascinating. It's a kind of an abstract uh, backlit, but uh, the swirly, the circular uh, bokeh that you're able to get is uh, rather fascinating. Here's a shot of a crusty Russian dude. Uh, that's actually uh, also the picture that's on the cover of the box. So this is a Petzval 58, made in Krasnogorsk. This is true lomography at its best. Now, you you know, photography is an art. You know, if you want everything to be you know wired, uh, um, you know, plastic and electronics, that's fine. This is still an art, and uh, people that know what the output of this lens is appreciate stuff like this. And uh, this is a quality lens that's going to outlast you or me. I mean, it's CNC machine brass. It's actually uh, far above Petzval's uh, typical quality. And like I said, right now, like I sound like a pitch man when I say this, but look, I'm not getting a damn penny. I'm not getting this lens for free. I'm not getting anything for free to say this. Uh, right now, for uh, uh, I sound like a pitch man. <laughs> For a very period, brief period of time, while he actually has these, you're able to get $100 off by entering Petzval in the uh, checkout at uh, CameraQuest.com. If you get a 58mm or 85mm, I'll give the link below uh, to CameraQuest. Uh, he's actually the importer of these and my uh, favorite lenses in the world, basically, the Voigtlanders. Here you can see the eight Waterhouse apertures. These are actually solid steel apertures and they drop in right here in the back. You gotta make sure they're dust free before you pop them in there. You don't want to rip them out of your pocket. Just drop it in there. You take it out of your pocket if you wanted to and blow the dust off and then drop it in. Make sure there's no spit on there of course, but you want no dust in the waterhouse apertures when you drop them in there. Focus your lens like you would in any other manual focus lens and here you're able to adjust the bokeh. And uh, this makes for shots that it doesn't matter how much money you spend you're not going to be able to uh, get this sort of output, you know, from uh, any uh, modern... I mean, uh, 
you could do something really exotic in uh, in Photoshop, but why get, capture it? Uh, you know, capture it at the time in camera. Let me actually pull up some other shots here. Some of these people have experimented with this lens a whole lot more than I have. I've only taken about uh, 40 shots with this lens. Here you can actually see it mounted on an icon. But uh, here we go. Here's a nice shot. Nice example that uh, someone took. Where we have our... Uh, and of course you can crop this later. Crop it to fit over here, left or right, up or down. After the fact, in Lightroom or whatever application you're using. But here you can see the beautiful... Where we have the actual subject centered in a radical uh, dialed in uh, bokeh on this uh, particular lens. I think this is the 85. Now this is the 58 which is the lens I'm holding in my hand. Dialed in uh, bokeh to uh, frame the subject where everything is spinning around her and her face is central. You know this sort of artistic expression in lenses is you know very very unique and you can't get that any, out of any other uh, you know modern lens. It just it can't be done. Um, I don't even think it's even optically possible to build this lens where it would be autofocus and uh, you would have to have uh, this sort of adjustment. I know of nobody else that, uh, that uh, has ever accomplished that or managed to accomplish it. But I mean, photography is an art, folks. You know, so. Anyway, this is extremely heavy. It's solid brass. You could club people over the head with this thing. Um, and, uh, you know, I've been critical of uh, pet's fall quality in the past and, uh, you know, I'm not here making a dime whether you buy something or not. I mean, I, I damn well am not. So I can actually say the quality on this is uh, rather extraordinary. And I said for a brief period of time, if you type in Petswell on the checkout, you'll be able to get $100 off on it. Extremely heavy lens, brass lens cap, brass lens hood, it's all brass. The internals are not brass, they're actually steel. <laughs> they're steel. No plastic is inside this lens. Well, actually, the rear. Lens this is actually a Nikon mount, so you could buy this for a Nikon mount and Canon mount, and I believe one other mount. It could be Pentax. I could be mistaken. Um, incredibly well made. Actually, the rear mount is chrome-plated brass, but uh, also comes with a genuine leather pouch. <laughs> How often do you... Not like fake leather, but real leather. Real Russian leather. Uh, here's a word that you need to learn in Russian, since I used to be a Russian translator. The word, the Russian word that describes this lens is krepki. This is a word everybody should learn in Russian. The Russian word is awesome. You say this to any Russian about something that you really like, you go, that's krepki. That means it's tough, it's the tits, it's, it's, it's manly, it's beefy, it's indestructible. Uh, so the Russian word to learn, which perfectly describes this lens, by the way, is krepki. Uh, maybe that would be hard for someone that doesn't speak Russian to learn how to speak, but that's the word. Krepki. So, это пецвол, серьезный крепкий линз. Ломографи. Зенит. Меден. Сделано Красногорск, Россия. Союз не мы великая Русна. Пиздец, бля, да? Извините меня, извини. Шутка. Маленькая шутка. Sorry, there's a little bit of Russian for the Russian folks out there. <laughs> so, as the Russians would say, shortly before offering you some столичная vodka, большое вам спасибо и увидимся. Молодец! <laughs> That's a little Russian humor for the Russian speakers out there, okay? So, увидимся, до свидания, пока! Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, I'm crazy.